Hey guys, this is Levi coming to you from the test build. I'm terrible sorry that it took me such a long time uh, to, uh, to make a video for you guys, especially for the introduction videos for patch 7.1. But work kept me occupied the last couple of weeks, months actually, and uh, when I had some open time, then some family issues showed up and stuff like that. I guess you all know how this is, and uh, yeah, again, I apologize from my side. Uh, terrible sorry, but today uh, I found a few open hours, so uh, I can do the videos for you guys, and the timing couldn't be better actually because we got the confirmation today that patch 7.1 will be released at May 24th, which is uh, the day after tomorrow, so Wednesday. Um, I already uh, prepared the post on the forum, so check, go ahead and check it out there to see when we have the maintenance and, and uh, other bug fixes will be, will, be, will, be, will, be, uh, will be done in this maintenance as well. So uh, go ahead and uh, check out the forum for the information there. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. Patch 7.1 brings some awesome new features, which uh, the first one will be Eternal Wars. Um, basically the same as Class Wars or Titan Wars, which is a couple-based tournament where all married couples uh, fight each other and uh, basically it's all the same. You have prelims on a Saturday most likely and then the finals on, on Sunday. Unfortunately, the, the event is not ongoing right now on the test build. So um, I, otherwise I could sh show you the, uh, the tunnel shop and which items are in there, but yeah, I'll let you surprise what, uh, what, what you guys can find there. For sure it's a nice event, hopefully without uh, any bugs or lags like Titan Wars. Titan Wars is um, really hard to play, all you guys know that, it's really just lagging and disconnecting and stuff like that. But I can assure you that uh, the devs are actually working on it and uh, they will try to, to get a solution out as, as soon as possible. Okay, so Eternal Wars, one of the new features with patch 7.1. When it will be scheduled, I don't know yet, because normally we have one weekend uh, in the month with, with Titan Wars, then we have another weekend with Class Wars, and then we have God's Descent. And yes, the fourth open spot in the month will be then for Eternal Wars. But uh, as soon as we have exact confirmations about uh, a schedule for the first Eternal War, we will let you guys know via forum, so we will make an announcement there. So uh, stay tuned and keep an eye on the forum to get information when we will get the uh, first Eternal War. So I'm really looking forward with my Italian spouse, Apo. <laughs> we can't wait to actually face all other couples, so it will be fun. And yeah, so Eternal Wars, great new feature, and um, let's see how this will going to work out. Uh, next new feature, which is also pretty, pretty awesome, and for me, m most likely the best new feature of patch 7.1, because it brings all players a little bit closer together. I mean, we meet each other always in Battlegrounds and, and PvP, but um, furthermore, um, they had decided to bring us the possibility to have a cross-server multiplayer dungeon feature. So. This will gonna look like that. You you go to Dina, and then you click on the Hall of Heroes button, and then a new window will open up. You will see here the, the dungeon lobby, and on the right hand side you see cross server matchmaking. Okay, so if you click on dungeon lobby, uh, then you just go ahead and create a room, and then you choose the the, the, the multiplayer dungeon you wanna do, wanna do. Most likely for uh, for a lot of people it will be Elemental Forest Nightmare, of course. You just select as usual. And then you have down here next to the invite button on the left hand side, you have the auto matchmaking button. So if you're going to click on this, uh, another window is open up and then you can select what kind of classes of teammates you, you want to invite cross server wide spoken for this MPD. So unfortunately, we cannot test this on the test build, yeah, because uh, we don't have the function to, to invite other people from other servers. There is one, one test server, but we don't have access to them, and so we couldn't actually test this out, how this will gonna look like in real uh, when you're gonna do this. But as far as I understood it, you can either choose only uh, the knights class to, to, in, to send out invitations for all knights who are able to do this dungeon, or you can uh, use mages and knights or you can go ahead and invite knights mages and archers or even only archers or only mages whatever you prefer most yeah um, a lot of people have asked me already how this uh, this auto matchmaking will actually look like if it's br based or whatsoever um, yeah again we can we can't tell that how this is gonna work out in in real and also we didn't got any clear uh, clear information from the devs regarding this so yeah Again, we will see how this is going to work out. Uh, in order to actually invite the people or other players, you select the classes you want to you wanna, wanna invite. 
and then you press the confirm button and then actually you're just gonna wait until the people who are online who, who are available or who gets the invitation or whatsoever again we don't know how this is gonna look like and then they will they will show up here in here in your room and then you can set the formation and then you can can start with the dungeon <clears throat> in any way that's all i can tell you right from this window when you gonna open a, a, a dungeon and and try to invite people uh, you see team leader enable cross server matchmaking so yes again we will we will really we will see in in real time once the patch got released uh, how this is gonna look like there is uh, another possibility how you can uh, enter a cross server multiplayer dungeon it's on the other on the other uh, button on the other window the cross server matchmaking so you click on match and then you have all the uh, the multiplayer dungeons listed up so far which we have and then you click on the one you want to choose or you want to join actually and then you just go ahead press the dungeon and then you're going to click on match and then actually i think that the the system will have a look if on other servers uh, a room is open or it has been created and somebody has used the auto match make matchmaking button in order to invite you so mm, that's the only possible way i can think of uh, how this is uh, how this will 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 work out but yes, I know I repeated, I repeat myself too often, but yes, we will see um, on Wednesday when, uh, when the patch got released, how this is gonna be working in real time. Um, one, one important thing is uh, you see here below my, my avatar, you see uh, searching for cross server, uh, uh, for cross server dungeon actually now because I activated it with the, with the, with the, uh, with the uh, no, what is it? Cross server matchmaking. Uh, it's looking actually for 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 an open for an open MPD where I can fit in, uh, but uh, below there you see it's not available between 4:30 to 5:30 a.m., uh, which is actually the time where the service gets resetted. So in order to avoid any problems or issues or whatsoever during the reset time of the service, they disabled the func the cross server MPD function uh, during this time. So this is one hour. Uh, so 30 minutes before server reset and 30 minutes after server reset you cannot actually uh, use the cross server multiplayer dungeon function but in any way shouldn't be that big of a deal if the rest of the day the function is open for all of us and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward there especially to to meet all all the other great players i'm in in, in daily contact with there are so many great persons out there which are actually are helping uh, helping us to to gather information uh, which we forward to to Gaia and then in, they will for, they forward it to to the devs and this really helps a lot guys so thank thank you thank you very much from my side and all other uh, watch and mods we I'm working with together and especially the people from Gaia they really do their best but certain things need certain times to actually either change or bug fixes or whatsoever. But I can assure you, they really try try their best to, to bring us the best gaming experience we can have with, with Wartune. And uh, yeah, big thank you to all to all players out there who are actually helping us uh, with information regarding every single piece of the game, whatever it is, little bugs, slacks, uh, whatsoever, ideas for the future and a really great job of from all of you so really 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 big big thank you from my side for for all the players out there who who are helping us with this okay so uh, next one uh, which feature we're gonna have a look next yes i would say we go ahead and check out the advanced talents which will also be a new feature of uh, patch 7.1 in order to to check the the advanced talents you just click on your skills and then you have the the talents button down below here on the left hand side you click on it and then you see a new button shows up here on the on the talent win on the talents window which is called advanced so you just go ahead and click advanced and then the, uh, the new advanced uh, talents shows show are showing up so unfortunately you see i'm playing a knights class as also in my uh, as i also play with my regular tune so i only have the advanced talents for the knights class but uh, if i remember correctly those and those advanced talents should be a copy paste of the advanced talents from the PC version. Don't nail me down on this, I'm not 100% sure, but it might be a copy paste. So if you're interested what the, the other advanced talents are before Wednesday, before the patch got rolled out, just go ahead and uh, check out on YouTube from Cosmos, Dolly Games. They made thousands of videos for the PC version of Wartune already and I'm pretty sure you will find a, a video from Ilya 
or even from Cosmos because he was playing uh, a mage as well there. So maybe you, you can check out the, the, the Dolly Games uh, channel in order to, to see the, the advanced talents of the other classes. We can go through the advanced talents of the Knights class quickly. You have on top, you have Tenacity. Resurrection has a 20% chance to remove a debuff. Well, Tenacity, I guess, is not the, the most used uh, but, uh, skill at all. I mean, I never see any player who is using the Tenacity. Maybe with this add-on of, of, uh, of a chance to remove a debuff, if, it maxed, if it's maxed out, maybe it might be useful, we will see. Um, but from the first look, it's not the greatest add-on as an advanced talent, but in any way, it's something we can work on. Uh, the second one would be Swordman's Ship. Bladestorms deals 2% more physical damage. Yeah, more damage is always very welcome. So uh, why not upgrading this uh, this talent? Uh, we will see how much percentage it will be when it got at level 10. But if it's always a jump of 2% each level, yeah, and it, 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 it should be a nice increase of, of damage dealt with, with this skill. The third one. Is, it's called Mangle and reduces death warrants rage cost by nine. So rage costs are always uh, also always welcome. I mean, death's warrant. Yeah, I use it pretty much in in, in, in battleground actually. And having a, a, a reduce of the rage cost is always appreciated. So also not the best talent to improve in my opinion, but in any way, it is as it is. So um, why not going ahead and and, and and improve this talent as well. Uh, the next one I have here, I already upgraded this one to 10, why did I do that? Reverse attack, 100% chance to get 50% bonus casting speed upon receiving critical strike last two turns. Yes, I mean, uh, an increase of, of, of casting speed is always a great thing. Um, downside is only if you receive a critical strike. So yeah, I mean, what can I say? Um, increase of casting speed, great. Uh, if you didn't get hit by a critical strike, well then you didn't get, well, you, you won't get the, the the casting speed increase. But in any way, also something which is nice and uh, good to work on. And last but not least, uh, it's called Warlord. Reduces Mars's will cooldown by two seconds and rage costs by by two. So <clears throat> this might be interesting because Mars's will is actually a very useful skill, especially during Titan Wars or PvP actions because uh, the, the, uh, the split up of damage which, uh, which, which players get, you know, if one gets hit but it, the, the, the damage gets split up on the whole team, which is kind of helpful, especially during Titan Wars, and having a reduce of, of cooldown might be helpful in order to use it more, more often than only once per battle. This might be something which could be a useful thing. But in any way, we will see how all these advanced talents, I mean, here for the Knights class, will turn out once, once they are a bit improved, and then we can test it in real time in PvP or Battleground or whatsoever. And then we're going to figure out which one is a really useful advanced talent and which ones we just, you know, yeah, keeping on the side or whatsoever. Uh, as far as I can remember, I did upgrade this a couple of weeks ago already. Um, the the XP costs for, for upgrading the advanced talents are of course a bit higher, well a bit, they are insanely more high than for the regular uh, regular talents and also the uh, the gold cost is way, 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 way higher. But uh, let me see, uh, how many can we do? We can make here one upgrade to see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Another one, just for the sake of the video. So that we have been five talent points with with the XP I had. There is still this XP cap. It's, it, if I recall it correctly, it's 800 million XP, which is the cap by now. And with this 800 million, you can uh, you can, you can can go ahead and upgrade the advanced talents for five times, yeah. So with XP scrolls and whatsoever we have in order to get the more XP, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to to upgrade the, the advanced talents in a, in a nice and speedy way, so to speak. But yeah, we will see. So yeah, advanced talents, nice new feature. Uh, as said before, other classes uh, I can't show you, unfortunately, but you will see latest on Wednesday. And if someone can't wait to see them, then uh, again, go ahead and check out YouTube, maybe at the Dollar Games homepage from, from Cosmos and Ilya. Maybe you can uh, find some of them there. Um, the next new feature I'm gonna show you, which is a very useful one, uh, you can find in the blacksmith. 
and then you, well actually you can't scroll down, but at the last button you see it's called Heritage. So before you got confused, it has nothing to do with the Heritage orbs from the patch before, which we got with patch 7.0. So it's, n it's nothing to do with heritage orbs. It's just called heritage. Um, I don't actually see why they call it like that, uh, because it has something to do with invocation actually. So if you click the button here, the heritage uh, button, then you see a window popping up and then uh, you can uh, do as follow. Uh, I'm gonna show you this. You can uh, drag equipment into the slot and you see I prepared this already, so um, let me just check if I have an invocation here. Yes, I have a working invocation on my helmet, which is a physical attack plus 6300 and a crit damage plus 10%. So what I can do now with this new feature is, is as follow. I can go ahead and save this invocation from my helmet down below in the window. So it costs 800 balance. Uh, is it bound? Oh, so yeah, you can use bound balance. This is actually something useful otherwise. I would have gone crazy if this would be just regular balance. It's crazy what... Yeah, never mind. So use bound balance first. Okay, so we click on this. And then you see the invocation got removed from the gear and you're gonna see it down below in this, um, in this invocation window, so to speak. Um, as far as I remember, let's check the help window, but yes, up to four invocation properties can be saved for each equipment slot. So this is actually pretty cool because if you have been unlucky with your invocation in the first place and then you do another one and it's a better one, then you just go, can go ahead and actually save this one up and uh, use the next, use a new one and, and so on and so forth. So uh, pretty cool add up. So you can, you can choose between various uh, invocations which, which you have created in the first place. And then you just go ahead and um, let's go ahead. We well, Slayer have twice here with the same. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate because it's the same, the same stats value. But just go ahead and uh, use this one: Strength, Physical Attack plus 5,500, and chance to receive crit minus 10. 10%. So um, if you're going to click on Extract, then you this invocation uh, should be applied at the gear again. So it costs another 800 balance. And here we go. You see now the the other invocation got applied to the helmet. So for me, pretty cool feature actually. I mean, uh, first of all, it takes time to, to, to get the good invocations of the master invocations or even virtuoso invocations done. But then uh, if you have enough materials, then you can go ahead and create various invocations uh, and then you can save them in here and then you can switch around between them and uh, which gives you a bit more of a strategic uh, thing to the, to your gameplay again. Uh, pretty cool feature. I'm looking forward to use it on my regular tune as well. I have some uh, cool, uh, I have enough invocation materials saved up there. So I'm really looking forward uh, how we, we can experiment uh, with this uh, with this stuff in here. Of course, the balance cost is, well, to, re to, to remove it and to, to replace it with another one that's 1,600 balance. Well, might be a bit, might be a lot for some people, but in order, you can you can use the bound balance, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Um, otherwise, just wait for a lucky wheel, and then you can can use a regular balance, and I'm pretty sure this will count into the into the consumption for the lucky wheel or during spend events or whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, nothing lost if you if you use this uh, heritage uh, feature to the right to the right time. Yeah? so pretty cool. Feature also can't wait to see it live and to uh, to do it on my regular tune and uh, yeah so I will keep it for this I keep it there for for this video otherwise it will get too long I will do another video in a few minutes uh, which I'm gonna show you uh, the Providence feature which is actually yeah linked together with the, with the new feature Guild Boss so I uh, will prepare a video for for those uh, two new features as well in a, in a couple of minutes and we'll upload them so I hope you guys uh, enjoy watching this video. Again, sorry that it has been really, really long time f from my side to make a video for you. But yeah, the timing couldn't couldn't been better as said at the beginning. So a uh, patch is gonna be be here very soon. And uh, yeah, check be look, look forward to the other video and uh, have fun playing Wartune. And I wish you a very nice day. Bye.